Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to start by saying I'm extremely thankful to each and every one of you who watched my Devasena look from Bahubali 2 that I previously posted and commented and sent me your love and support. It just means a lot. Um, if you haven't already watched that tutorial, I'm going to link it right on top so you can click on it and go to that tutorial as well. And when I posted that video, a lot of you asked me to recreate this look. This is from the same movie, Bahubali 2, and this is from the Kanha song. So she again has understated smoky eyes, beautiful wavy hair. So I did a hair and makeup tutorial for you guys. If you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to start by prepping my lips and face. For my lips, I'm using this vitamin E oil that I got from Trader Joe's. You can use coconut oil as well. And for my face, I'm using the Lasting Finish Primer from Rimmel before I use any foundation over it. And for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the color 108. And I'm going to apply this with a Kabuki brush. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you would have realized that I use a Kabuki brush to apply thicker foundation. It just blends well um, on my face, as opposed to a beauty blender, which I normally use for thinner foundations. To conceal any dark circles and dark spots and as well as highlight my face, I'm going to be using the Master Conceal from Maybelline. And to cream contour my face, I'm going to be using this contour stick from Wet n Wild. I'm going to blend in the concealer with a beauty blender and then I'm going to blend in the contour with uh, the kabuki brush again because um, the contour is a thick cream consistency as opposed to the concealer. I'm using the artistry loose powder to set in the concealer under my eyes. And then I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder to buff everything in on my face just so it looks seamless. Although I used a larger powder brush on my face, I try to use a smaller tapered brush um, in areas that are hard to reach like under my eyes. I'm going to be listing all the brushes that I used in the description box below. To prep my eyes, I'm using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC and to set it, I'm going to be using the Translucent Powder. From my Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, I'm going to start by using this nude pink color as my transition color, so I'm going to swipe it right across my crease with a blending brush. Next, using this light shimmer color, I'm going to highlight my brow bones. Next, taking this brown color with another blending brush, I'm going to start smoking this in the outer corners of my eyes, just to create that really soft, smoky look. Next, I'm going to take some black with a soft fluffy brush and I'm going to start defining my outer V with it and then I'm going to use a larger blending brush to blend it out with the browns. Next, I'm applying this pretty gold color in the inner corner with my pinky finger and then I'm going to take it all the way up to my crease using a flat shader brush. Next, I'm quickly tight lining my eyes using this black Kajol pencil. This one is from Wet n Wild. Oh, 
and then taking a narrow angled brush I'm going to smoke it out in the lower lash line. Taking this grey colour I'm going to buff it out further in my lower lash line just to soften the edges. Using the Artistry liquid liner I'm going to draw out a small wing in my top lash line. If you look at Anushka's eyes um, it's quite smoked out but also has a small wing just in the top lash line so it's a very understated smoky eyes um, which makes it look very elegant. To warm up my face I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm not going to be using a powder contour because her contouring is not very harsh. Just to structure my face I've already used the cream contour and that'll be it. For blush I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Pearlescent Pink. I'm just going to use a tiny amount just to give that flush of color to my cheeks. And to highlight, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. I'm going to be using this on the highest point of my cheekbones as well as over my eyebrows. Her lips are very natural in color but have a nice glow to it. So I'm going to first use the Brown Suede Easy Liner from Giordana. This is uh, both a lip liner as well as an eyeliner pencil. And over that I'm going to be using a lip gloss and this one is from Wet n Wild. To finish up my eyes, I'm going to curl my lashes, apply mascara and falsies. My mascara is from Wet n Wild, it's their Lashomatic Mascara. And my falsies is the 105 Black Lashes, uh, these are the Glamour Lashes from Ardell. And once I've applied the falsies, I like to go over one more time with my eyeliner just to hide any lash band or any glue that might be peeking through. Now let's move on to styling the hair. She's got some beautiful waves going on in her hair and I'm going to try to imitate the same look. For this first I have to protect my hair from all that heat I'll be using so I'm going to be spraying a generous amount of CHI Iron Guard all over my hair and I'm going to massage it gently before I use um, any straightener or any crimper on my hair. To create those gorgeous waves I'm going to be using my 3-in-1 specialty styler from Conair today. It comes with a straightener, a crimper as well as a wave creator um, and the plates that I'm using today um, is to create waves. I'm going to first mid part my hair and that's what she has and then I'm going to start creating these waves by pressing the tool against my hair in sections. I'm going to hold it in one place for about five seconds before I move on to the next section. Once you're done adding waves to your hair, you take a black elastic band or any color band that uh, matches with your hair color or a clear band. And I'm going to turn around to show you. I'm going to do a half up, a half down um, hair. So I'm going to take sections of my hair from either sides. And I'm going to tie a ponytail right in the center. And you can accessorize this with any jewelry, any necklaces, any hair accessories just to make it look pretty. To draw the bindi, I'm using a liquid red lipstick today. This one is from Wet n Wild. Um, you can either use a red lipstick or you can use even the liquid bindi that you get in India. Or um, you can also use sticker bindis um, if you have exactly like what she's wearing. Um, so I'm going to use a very tiny brush to draw out the bindi just like hers. 
To finish up this look, I'm going to be adding some accessories as well as jewelry. Most of the jewelry was made by me to imitate what Dev Sena is wearing in Bahubali 2 because I couldn't find anything that was very similar to what she was wearing. So I had to use a couple of my broken earrings as well as get some accessories from Michaels to put my hair accessories, my uh, earrings as well as my nose rings together. So I made everything myself. My necklace is from India. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday, so if you're subscribed to my channel, you will be notified of any new tutorials that go up. And also, if you're not following me on social media, you're missing out on a lot of candid moments and pictures and new makeup that I don't post on YouTube. So make sure you follow me there. I've included links to all my social media accounts in the description box below. I've also included all the products that I've used in the description box below so you can check it out if you missed on anything. And if you have any suggestions on what tutorials you would like to see, please go ahead and comment below and also let me know what you thought of this tutorial. Until next time, you take care and I will see you next Wednesday with a brand new tutorial. Bye-bye.